So this video is going to show how to install the radio upgrade into a Tahoe or as this is a GMC Yukon. Also applies to GMC and Chevy trucks. So first thing we're going to do, turn off and remove the trim piece. I use a plastic wedge tool to get in between the plastic and the dash. In, just pry it out. And it is hard to get out, makes you think it's going to break, but it finally pops out of the spring clips. It's just spring clips to hold this in. Then we just remove all the screws from all the controls up and down. It's a total of eight. And I'm just using a socket drive. Pull these out. And the last one. And these just kind of pull out, sit out of the way. Radio pulls out. In the back, we're going to unplug. Plug one. Satellite radio plug for the antenna. Two. And the antenna can be kind of tricky because you have to push in and pull out. It's never as easy as it seems. And then the last little yellow plug. Back to the radio. And you notice in the dash. These are our plugs. We're not going to use this one because we do not support satellite radio and the antenna. So these are the three we're going to plug in. First step, and a lot of people forget the first step. Read the top. Remove the two packing screws. These hold the CD mechanism in place during shipment so it doesn't bounce around a lot. Another question I get, the back of the radio does not have plugs that fit into what's left in the dash. That's because we're going to use our harness. Harness comes with everything we need to plug into the dash using our plugs to fit in as well as the speaker. So we're going to see what fits where. So find the ones that plug in and fit and plug those in. If you don't have one that plugs in and fits, then you don't need it. So this one we won't be using because we don't have that plug. And this is going to plug into our radio. So look at the back. Big black plug. For all the power plugs in here and you have to push it in kind of hard make sure it gets a good strong connection and then the blue we're going to plug in 
on the edge where the blue goes. So that's what it looks like so far. Notice all the additional optional audio and video inputs and outputs. The CAN bus decoder. This is what allows the steering wheel controls and things like that to work. And here we've got the little speaker which gives us our tones, turn signals, and things like that. Now this is sometimes loud. People think this can be a little bit too loud. If it is loud, cover up two thirds of it with tape. So it won't be so loud, but it is gonna go back in your dash. So this little wire plugs into this little wire that's left here by the CAN bus adapter. And it should only plug one way. Get lined up. And plugged in place. <clears throat> now we do still have our antenna wire. For that we have an antenna adapter. These are more RCA outputs, optional. We have the optional backup camera input. And then we've got optional accessories for inputs, outputs, Wi-Fi cables, iPod cables, things like that. Next we're gonna open this. So that's an optional harness we don't need. We do need the satellite antenna. And we're not going to use our inputs and outputs. So satellite antenna and FM antenna are the last two we need that are required for the unit to function. So you notice this antenna fits right into our plug. Good contact. And this plugs into the antenna plug. Back to the radio. In solid. And the last one is our GPS. People ask, where do I mount this? Wherever it's going to get a good signal. Sometimes you can just stick it on top of the radio itself and it will get a good signal. Sometimes you have to ride on top of the dash, inside the dash, just depends on wherever you're gonna get a good signal. Plugs it into the back, now we're all wired in. So let's see if this antenna will be able to rest there. So all my plugs and wires into the back, into the hole. So that they're out of the way, so the radio will sit flush. And see if I can keep the speaker up there. Sometimes it does take a bit of maneuvering to get all of our wires to sit back and behave out of the way. sitting flush. No, we're not flush yet. I don't think it's the antenna. I think it's our cables. So we'll keep working in the back till we get them pushed back enough and identify the one that's causing the problem. I think it was this antenna one. Push it back in. Push it back in from the bottom. Everything tucked in out of the way. Most now, I think it might be our antenna. So for now, I'm gonna put the antenna in the back, up high, out of the way. Let's see if we get us a good signal. So now we're in pretty flush. So we're not quite flush on the left. Again, we're just monkeying with the wires to get them all tucked away. Ah, here's the problem is the plug was out of the way. All tucked in, out of the way. Now we're tight. So now we're in flush. So hold this piece in, we can hold the air conditioner piece, which goes on top. And put a screw or two in top. 
to hold it in. Make sure it gets up and sits flush before you tighten them down all the way. Because you want your lines to be tight. And the last piece plugs into the bottom. Again, make sure it's lined up before you get it totally tight. Let's test it. <clears throat> you can hear the chimes coming from inside. A little bit loud. Might be something that's worthwhile to uh, put some tape over those holes to quiet it down a little bit. We're booted up and setting the uh, SD card. volume down a little bit. That's some static. So we'll go back to our band. Pick a station. Everything looks good. Go back to the uh, pick our bands. Get on our memory. Memory presets. SRC is our source for the main menu. So, different settings, radio. That's our navigation. We're inside the garage, so we're not going to pick up a signal on that. That's all there is to it. So now, snap our plate back on. And sometimes, it's actually easier to put the bottom on first. So let's start down here. And let's turn it down so you don't have to hear the noise. And work your way up. You can find the spots where it plugs in. Push it solid. It's a lot easier to get on than it was to get off. There you go, successfully installed. So this video is gonna show how to install the radio upgrade into a Tahoe, or as this is a GMC Yukon, also applies to GMC and Chevy trucks. So first thing we're gonna do, turn off and remove the trim piece. I use a plastic wedge tool to get in between the plastic and the dash. Once you get it in, just pry it out.
It is hard to get out. Makes you think it's gonna break. But finally, pops out of the spring clips. It's just spring clips to hold this in. Then we just remove all the screws from all the controls up and down. So a total of eight. I'm just using a socket drive. 